Welcome to the OSRS Podcast, where we talk about RuneScape-related things with RuneScape-related content creators. I am Mint Cow, one of your hosts, followed by... What's going on, guys? Rex, as always. And uh, Rice Cup. Oh, yeah, who's introducing? You uh, are. I'll introduce. <laughs> so we got, our, we got our boy, Dark World Order. He's also a content creator, uh, mostly on the YouTube side. Also streams a bit, but um, his current series revolves around, actually, RuneScape 3, but... He hasn't played RuneScape 3, like, you know, originally, so he switched from old school to R3 just to try it out, and he's been making a series on that, and it's been, you know, getting some pretty pretty good traction. So, yeah, welcome, Mr. Dog World. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, good All to right. have you on, man. Good to have you. First question, because we start out with the Q&As. What does Dark World Order mean? Is that like an anime I haven't seen? Or <laughs> uh, so basically, when I played RuneScape like years and years ago, it was like 2011. I used to run a clan, and uh, it just sort of around, it was like um, the name was like around the Illuminati and like conspiracies. I think like the Citadel was called uh, Illuminati, and then it was the clan was called like New World Order or something. So it was and, just a bunch of chunky boys pretending to take over the world then. Yeah, and then when I when I come back, I come back for Darkscape and. Instead of calling it New World Order, I made a clan and called it Dark World Order. And then the name sort of stuck since then. And you were also, you were like very, very um, active when there was the, what was it called, Darkscape? Is that what Yeah, it yeah, I love that stuff. That's what I come back for. I didn't come back for old school. Uh, I saw a friend playing Darkscape. He did a little series on it. And I was like, damn, that looks really interesting. And if give that go. you guys all know what Darkscape is watching, it's um, pretty much like the Dead Man mode of RuneScape 3, I before. believe. Before. It was like before Dead Man mode was a thing. Well, yeah, yeah, they, they, they were around the fair. same time, roughly. Um, I The thing was, Darkscape came out first and then Dead Man mode yeah. shortly mm -hmm. after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember and playing that shit. Didn't do so well. And you get like the starter air staff, and I was just slapping people, but that's all <laughs> I did. I just slapped the shit out of people with that starter air staff, and then I quit because I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, yeah, dude, I, Dark World. I remember talking to you at Ringfest. Like, well, people aren't gonna know this. You guys probably yeah. know this. But like, both of the Ringfest I've been to, I literally hung out of Dark World like the entire time. And the last, yeah, we met. Uh, I mean, before. I could tell. Yeah. Awesome. I saw you two together all the time, dude. Like, <laughs> well, the last time I went, dude, I was so high on morphine, no one wanted to be around me. And Dark, <laughs> Dark World was like the only person. Yeah, dude. Like, if it wasn't for you, I'd have just been on my own, just high as fuck. So I, <laughs> I, I really that was your, that was your crotch. It. But yeah, I remember you saying that um, you were like Darkscape. You were like bigging it up to me and you told me about it. And I was like, damn, the concept sounds Dude, really good. Dude, it was good. so good. I think the reason it didn't do so well is one, because it comes out first, right? Cool. So any content yeah. creators doing it, they do the new content. So then they went to, you know, doing um, dead man modes. And another reason is people probably assumed like maybe the combat system. RS3 doesn't have much <laughs> of a PK and scene either. Um, but it was like old school uh, combat kind of. But it's not quite the same. It's like the same as Legacy. It's just EOC yeah. ripped out. It's not old school combat. Dude, so um, tell so us. That's why I didn't do so well. I don't really know anything about Darkscape, but I remember you told me a bunch of like points and facts when we spoke. Okay, so I feel like with, with everything that was wrong with Deadman mode would have been fixed by Darkscape's mechanics, um, especially as if it was like a full game, not seasons. Like one of the main issues is like, you know, you can start. I can't walk out of Lumbridge and just get clapped by a max player or something if you go into the dead man mode world. Uh, but it had like three zones. So the whole of like free to play is like the wilderness area of progression. So if you start late, you just make a pure and work your way up, stay in them areas. And then when you look to go to a different areas, then start chaining defense. Um, okay. and yeah, it just, it, just, it just had loads of good things about it that made it. Yeah, so, I used to watch a friend series. It was actually really interesting. It, it sounds like it was more like combat balance then, because yeah, that is an issue yeah. with max players just one shotting people inside a lump and stuff. One of the fun things about it, right, is it wasn't like you know the safe zone. Remember when you used to just get smashed by a guard? It would just like pop up, like if you misclicked or something. Um, but on yeah. there, like the guards would literally chase you, so you could drop someone at the GE and run off. <laughs> like, <laughs> was quick enough, get a friend to attack the guard because they were actual NPCs, they didn't just spring out the ground. Yeah, and then drop someone, wait for him to make his transaction, and then just bam, the boy's put inside in the GE. <laughs> good. Uh, oh, sick, dude. Wow, yeah. but do they just like chase you forever, even if you log out? Well, the, yeah, I don't know if you know about warbands. Do you remember that? Oh, is nah, that? Well, I don't think they do. It rings a bell. So it's, a, it's a wilderness. It's a, yeah, mini wilderness game. Mini game. 
And um, so someone lured a guard all the way to the wilderness. And when war bands happens, it happens every seven hours. And the wilderness is just smashed with big clan fights. One dude's lured this guard in. This is wiping everyone out. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was a good that's time. Amazing. Uh, that's a great lore. That's probably one of the best lores I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. In the deep world, you can lure Callisto to the demonic runes. And that's where all the fights happen. So I feel like that's the same shit where you just got Callisto knocking everyone and murdering people. Like yeah, I saw they were um thinking of bringing bowlers or bowlers, wow. whatever they're called. On <laughs> the yeah, range, uh, entangled. yeah, you had it's just a throwable stun. You had them on a dark scape, but what you also had was barricades, you know, like in Clown Wars, but you had the tiers of wood, so you can make like an oak one, a magic one, put the barricades down, trap someone, and then just keep hitting them with an ebola diagonally, so they can't log out. As soon as they put their prey on, hit them. You know, if you stop, they turn their prey off and just keep them prisoner until they run out of prey off. So they don't have protect item anymore. <laughs> oh, dude, that's, that, that sounds like normal. AIDS. <laughs> that sounds normal, man. The, the barricades are a terrible idea, but okay. we use them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they ever bring back uh, like a revised version of Darkscape, but like the thing is, uh, I think I think Darkscape was just because it was based in archery, and that's probably yeah, yeah, that was one of the big issues back back. I mean, especially back then, you know, like more people were against any any sort of archery stuff. Maybe not not so much now. You know, they're still. I'd like uh, to see Darkscape but old. So dead yeah, man exactly. come imagine. back, but be Darkscape. How Darkscape works. Yeah, but imagine old. if they that'd did be that. Amazing. Yeah, that'd be cool. Well, they kind of have PvP worlds, but it it, it isn't quite the same. I, nah, I don't know the exact. Same, but... Yeah, I don't know. I heard Darkscape might have died because didn't they have like triple Gs, right? Yeah, they 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 had a smuggling system, right? So you had three Gs, and you made more money. So there was um, a G in Ardoin, which is middle risk area, where any combat level can attack anyone. And then you had the G in Lumbridge and Varox, same one. Um, and then you had a G in the Wilderness, and there was tax in the safer areas. And then the Wilderness, there was like no tax, but you'd have to physically like take the stuff out in the Wilderness, and you could just get slapped there. Dude, that sounds but, um, awesome, man. It's so a really cool idea. Right? Yeah. So it's I really used cool to sit idea, on um, White Wolf Mountain. So it was a key place where you'd physically, because you had free banks. You couldn't, it was like three tabs. You couldn't like take stuff out of your medium tab in the low risk area, right? So I would sit on White Wolf Mountain. I must have caught this flax bot guy trying to move his stuff. I killed him. He had like 200k flax. <laughs> this oh one, my God. you'd catch people, you have to physically move your stuff. But eventually they did <laughs> remove that, the smuggling. Yeah, because that was Good. probably just too much of a pain in the ass. Yeah. I mean, the yeah. concept behind it's really cool, but once you have so many things at play in the mechanic, well, it just people are going to get confused, you know? Problem was questing. <clears throat> like, Biohazard was a pain in the ass because you'd have to physically walk your stuff, like, from Ardoin all the way over to, like, that bit in Varrock. And if you got killed or you quest items, then you'd have to get them back, and it's just, just right pain. Yeah. Um, I See, I like that. I feel like RuneScape 3, well, they definitely have, like, free reign of their game, right? It's like they don't pull shit. It's like we're putting this in the game. <laughs> but so like, yeah, they can just. And I mean, that's definitely not always the best, but at the same time, like Dark Scape yeah, sounds yeah, like it, it was quite fun. Yeah. yeah. I, I literally, it was just like, a, I reckon it was a training ground for mods. They like put four mods on there and they could just do what they want. Like they used to have all their own little projects and stuff and they would just chuck random stuff in. Ah, uh, dude. Yeah. Cool. So let's, let's talk about your uh, RuneScape 3 series, bro. So. What was like the inspiration, you know, for you to? Well, I've always been curious, like what's mm -hmm. going on over there. Is it as bad as everyone says? Because you know, it's so much hate. You just oh, who's going to free up? You know what I mean? Um, but I've always been curious to see how it's changed and stuff. And um, I tried before because I used to have my hardcore Iron Man series, and uh, that was like my peak back then. I was getting like three thousand views. And then when I died, I thought I'd give it a go. So. Put in, put in a RuneScape free video up at that point it was a really bad idea. It got so many dislikes. Everyone's going mad. Like, um, So, yeah, I just scrapped uh -huh. that. And then recently someone in my Discord was like, oh, try us free, try us free. And then one day I was like, you know, I'll just give it a go. And then I thought, actually, I'll record it like, and just see what happens. Um, my channel was a bit dead at the time because I'd been back at work and I hadn't really been uploading. So I uploaded it anyway, and it just blew up. <laughs> like, it got 150,000 views the first episode now. Ah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, I was like, yo, what's up? I, I, I was like, oh, wait, this is sorry. Crazy. What, what was the series name? What's the series? Uh, it's just called RuneScape Free Series. Um, <laughs> just me, I would recommend just showing the intro. Yeah, obviously. can we show them the intro? Yeah, I really yeah, like yeah. the intro, bro. It was a good, it was a good hook, and 
relatable. You know, is it on the uh, very first episode? I'm guessing. Yeah, just bring up the first episode. Play it's a minute long. <clears throat> it's the first minute it explains everything. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're I mean, on episode pretty 31. nice thumbnail right here on his first episode. I can see why people wanted to watch it. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, the art, like. And the graphics. Because the, the game is beautiful, right? You know, if there it's was like, beautiful until you go in the GE. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like, yeah, and then the cosmetics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then there's the cosmetics cosmetic. and everything. Oh, I hate the cosmetics, but yeah, we can talk about that in a second. It's a very good looking game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably yeah, we can hate on that all we, all we want in a second. Yeah, these aesthetics are sweet in the beginning of this vid. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. All right, you it guys should awesome. be. Able... <clears throat> you guys should be able to hear this now. Yeah, we're good to go. Can you guys Please hear that? Free. No. No. You didn't Original turn on the sounds. You have to include the sounds. Oh, my bad. Dude, yeah. I don't know if I can remember how to do this, man. It's been a while. It's Well, while Rakesy's doing Dude, this, man. Do you know right. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm not going to lie because I need to go through all the Discord sentence. But I'll, <laughs> I'll play. Uh, no, it's okay. No, no. It's on the sharing thing. When you share a specific uh, application, there on, on there, there's like a little on audio on and off. You just turn it on. It's on well, the same. Well, thing. it's it's oh, already okay. on. Just FYI. So. Oh, uh, okay. I can try that. We'll see if this works. Can you hear this? Okay. No. Okay. Game wants love. Oh, uh, it's on. Can hear it though, controversial right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, what? I already know what this Our is. Our game love by. Is there like music playing? And hated yeah. by most. Oh, yo, your vape kind of sounds like the wind waterfall, so just keep in going, In this dude. series, with a fresh account and a new start, There's my people. I want to explore what the game has to uh -huh. offer. Like, if on they use this engine to make, like, RuneScape, port, you know, kind of like how Overwatch <laughs> does it, that game I think it'd be pretty love. popular. Let's okay. together see if the game has hidden gems and interesting content that the average person won't find without playing the game. Like, look at that lighting, What's the appeal to keep playing this game for so dude, many people? Crazy yeah, games. dude, that is the thing about RuneScape 3. The graphics are fucking awesome. Like, I mean, they, are, they are. How the fuck did you capture it like that? What the uh, you right click on the mini map and you got free cam, and then you can just free cam around. Ah, so it's the orb yeah, of Oculus. Yeah, it's built in. It's built in. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Man. Is it refused to change and start over, or is there something we're all missing? Let's find out together. Be cool yeah, there's man. a way <clears throat> where you can make it look like old school and then we could just jump on runescape 3 and make really cool videos. yeah no, I, I i don't know man i already got dibs bro I, I already plan on making some series in the future dog i mean uh, dude the game the game looks fucking awesome i'm not gonna lie like graphically it looks sick uh like right so i can tell you it, i can tell you the reason i don't play runescape go 3. for it right so Basically, I played RuneScape since like 2000 and, well, it was year 2003 or 2004, right? And I put in like a monstrosity, like amount of hours and days and years into that game. Like the last time I checked my gameplay on my Rixie account for RuneScape 3, which was probably like, God, I don't know, like eight years ago, I had like 400 and something days, right? And it's like from that, from grinding an account, and I mean, I fucking grinded on that account, dude. Like, I didn't know how to make money. I didn't know how to do shit. I just knew how to PK. I progressed my account, played it for, like, God knows how many years. And then just one day, they put shit in the game, which effectively meant that somebody who had a lot of money in their bank account could just jump on on a fresh account and get my account within, like, a couple days. Like, that, for me, I was just like, fuck this game. I have no interest in playing this garbage anymore. Like, after all the years of blood, sweat, and tears <laughs> I put into it, grinding away, for that to just be, like, undone and taken away by somebody who's got a massive fucking bank account, I was just like, this isn't my, this isn't my <laughs> cup of tea anymore. This is yeah. fucking garbage. I mean, couldn't they just uh, go on a website and buy a max account on a dodgy website on old school? I mean, dude, if you that's play... A, if, you, if, but... if, if you play RuneScape <laughs> and you know anything about, like, the, the black market, you should know that buying an account is just a bad... <laughs> A bad yeah, idea. You'll get, you get it pulled back off you dude, anyway. I, I, like, you know, dude, I was in the PK. Idea. Yeah, I was in the PK community for such a long time, and like, I knew so many people that bought accounts, and I don't know a single person who bought an account and still owns it now. Like, they all got recovered back. Every single. Probably, um, probably yeah, a good time anyways. for me to answer some things I've learned. Yeah, um, yeah. Because yeah, like will... the main things, right? People say is obviously combat. Yeah. Trash. You know, cosmetics. Trash. Pay to win. Trash. Right. Mm. Um. 
But the, the, what I've learned, right, is them them three things. I don't know if you can think of any more, but they're the main things people hate. Uh, I can think of some more. <laughs> give, give, <laughs> Those are the main ones. More, I agree. Those are the main um, ones. Yeah, I, I, I don't like the cosmetics and things like that either. They do my head in. I don't like all the viable XP. But the way I see it, right, if you don't want any of that, you can just play Iron Man. You can't get any, like, pay to win nothing on That's Iron Man. That's what I'm talking so you about. Can, you can play bro. Iron Man. There's, you, you are limited to even some rewards that are a bit OP from, like, mini games and things. It's purely, like, that's all gone. That's gone. Um, what was the other one? Combat. Combat, right, is really fucking confusing at first. Like, when I first started, I had, like, obviously, some, like, elite rs3 players like yo yo lol, i want to give you tips and that they're telling me do all this stuff and my abilities and that and i'm just like bro just just leave it like this is so confusing um it's not good in the way it teaches you it um but once you learn it it does it does give like a lot of flavor to the to the combat and the bossing and stuff it is quite fun uh the main issue they had when they released it, it it was it was trash it was terrible and there was no other option like they didn't release legacy for like over a year and a half Mm. Uh, they didn't release Revo for about the same amount of time. And Revo, but with Revo, it does revolution. it automatically for you. You don't have yeah. to trigger abilities and stuff. Dude, but... I, I think I probably speak for a lot of people here because I like remember the day when they released mm -hmm. the beta for uh, whatever Ringscape <laughs> Free was and shit like that. And after playing the game for so many years, and then a few weeks later, they were just like, right. The game is changing into what that beta was because it's what's best for the game. Like there was no consideration for like the veteran yeah, no, players, agree. dude. It was just yeah, it like was this is gonna be the game, you know? And like I remember my first Slayer task, <clears throat> and like I'd normally just AFK Slayer on the other screen, but after press buttons <clears throat> and stuff, I was like, nah, screw this, man. Yeah. Don't like it. It was terrible. Yeah, I mean we all know they rushed it. And yeah, they just clearly terrible. that's it's kinda like a prime example of when there isn't enough feedback. And you mm. let the devs just kind of free reign something that's what old school that really... do right. What old school do right, like something like that would have pulled it, yeah, pulled every really. single ability in and out, everything. Yeah, you know really. I, mean? I genuinely don't think for a second that there wasn't enough negative feedback. I just think it was a case I of I don't know if there was. <laughs> dude, to be honest. RuneScape, there was so much. Oh, dude, like the I don't really think people were playing the. I, I the think beta much. I think maybe like. Say out of a hundred percent of the RuneScape community that spoke out about it, there was ten percent that were like, "Oh yeah, Dude, I like this." It, oh, it ruined so many accounts if you had pure. Yeah. And that, no, no, I'm like... no, I'm saying like before it happened. You know, what I'm saying like during the beta. I don't think many people actually played the beta. No, you remember? Right. Yeah, not many people did. That's what no, I'm I saying. I'm not talking about after, because like once you put it in, it's like kind of like you know they're not going to take it back out. You know. Yeah. Like well, they had to refine <clears> it, but there wasn't. <clears throat> It wasn't really because, like, like there was never a time before where Jagas really gave a shit about like feedback. They're so out of touch with the community, dude. Uh, yeah, they they usually they're used to just doing their own thing, and then there's that one time, a few times where they do something, and then it's like, oh fuck, it's actually not working out exactly as we planned. So that's do you know why I mean, they that's did when it? they realize, you know. Do you remember yeah. why they did it? It's like they well, had a questionnaire, all the people who quit, and they always said the the thing they didn't like about the game was the combat. Um, that was like the boring aspect to most people who quit, who they then like asked why they quit. But uh, they definitely did it wrong. They did it so I wrong. Mean, yeah, yeah, they just rushed, man. It should have been something that required more time to think about and flesh dude, out. They basically made it into like a fucking budget World of Warcraft. Because bear in mind, this was <laughs> yeah, in the this was around yeah. the time, like, and this wasn't, RuneScape wasn't the only game, but there were so many games that tried to jump on the World of Warcraft bandwagon because it was so successful and still is yeah. so successful. Well, yeah, so, look at yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but so, yeah. so many other like games popped up after World of Warcraft and like the way that I saw it was just like, well, RuneScape are clearly copying that because it's successful and that's what they think, you know, that's what the players want. But dude, I'll give you guys like an exclusive to the old school RuneScape podcast. I don't think I've ever spoken about this, but dude, I'll tell you this. The day that RuneScape 3 became a thing and I could never play the game as it was, right? I canceled my membership. Never had I ever cancelled my membership, my, like, since I bought it when I was a little child. Never. That was, like, an emotional thing for me, man. I remember being heartbroken cancelling that membership, because it was, like, a chapter of my life I was just, like, cutting off, right? I literally went to the Dude Arena, I staked, I fucking sold the gold. That's how much I fucking hated the game. All, off of, off of my damn main account. Yeah! Don't promote gold selling. Dude, straight up! Yeah, All man. More details on your crimes here. Dude, all right. All right. How much did you stake? How much did you make? I mean, I, I didn't make loads of money, but I think all in all, I, I walked away with about two thousand dollars. That's how that's much. I, up, that's how much I made. And this was at a time when the gold was. I, I think I sold the gold for like a mil for thirty cents. 
So it was like worthless, basically. But um, yeah, dude, I don't even feel bad about it. Fuck it, man. I literally took that money. I passed my driving test, then got a job driving um, vans. So it's like, it actually benefited me, like, in the long term. He got me a fucking job. But, yeah, it was really, like, a sad moment, man. Like, I remember that like it was yesterday, you know? A lot of people don't realize that as well. Like, in my, the part of my intro, it says, like, about people, like, hate this game. Like, a lot of people hate it. And people and the people at RS3 players are like, nah, they don't hate it. They just dislike it. I'm oh, like, I you know, fucking hate it, dude. I it, hate it so like, much. Like, what you just said, right? <laughs> it was emotional. Like... It, it that's people's childhood and they that's strong emotions connect connect to that is legit yeah. hate like there are people who legit hate the game because it like ruined their like what they knew in their in their childhood and stuff um but i i for what i've learned so far i don't like i think the game is is decent if you treat it as its own game i'm having a lot of fun yeah it is it's a good game i mean i See, it's interesting you say that, because you're right, I fucking do hate RuneScape 3. But then at the same time, a lot of the time, I'll defend the J mods in old school. Because I see the same pattern occurring, which is effectively, back in the day, yeah. Jagex, you couldn't even get hold of them. Like, you had no say in updates coming into the game. But now with old school, it's like, I feel like we have too much fucking say. And nah. there's too many people that are holding that shit against them. Whereas me, I'm just like, look, it's a completely different team. Although I'm slightly biased because I've met the guys. Whereas like 99% yeah, you know, yeah. of the people haven't you play RuneScape, if not more. But like, yeah, it's like, I think that there should be more power now in the old school RuneScape team's hands. Because otherwise, there's always like, there's always a percentage of people that will be stuck in the mentality, which I was for a long time. Which is, this company fucking sucks, and eventually they're going to put microtransactions into the game. Like, everybody thinks it. Like, go on to Twitter or Reddit, it's all you see. But, like, after actually meeting the team and seeing how passionate about the game they are, like, how we are, it's like, you know, within, like, minutes of meeting the guys, that they don't want that for the game. You know, like, I can tell you this. I've met J-Mods, and I'm not going to say any names, but, like, they've literally said to me in private, if old school RuneScape ever goes down the path, which is RuneScape 3, they're like, I'll just straight up quit. Do you know what I mean? Like, I have a lot of trust in the old school RuneScape team. A lot. Uh-huh. That's what you want. That, that was beautiful, day. dude. You criminal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let, let's get some Q&As going with, with Mr. Dark World, though. So, right. so how far into the game are you right now, you know, on that series? Uh, I think I'm just short of 100,000 uh, hours um, played. So, I've got, like, 699s. That's one thing I'll touch on as well is like a lot of people say the 99s um, like being really devalued, which they have. Lot... Did you say a hundred thousand hours? No, I, I meant to say a thousand by accident. I was thousand, thinking about yeah. that. I'm like, I think like nine hundred. Damn, that's a long yeah, ass. Okay, nine hundred hours. Okay, okay, that's yeah, a lot but, of game um, hours right now. You know, that's a lot of yeah. game hours. But the 99s have been devalued. That's one reason I quit as well when they brought out Rune Span. That annoyed me. I was like nearly 90 runecrafting. It was one of the rarest capes, and then boom, everyone had it. Um, but yeah, the way yeah. I look at it now, right, is you get you get the 99 a lot easier, and you unlock all the content. But then if you want to flex, you get a 120 cape because they have 120 capes. So that's sort of the way it works. Like, is that really a flex though in RuneScape 3? Yeah, I mean, that's 100. Like every skill speed. other than Thieven. Thieven's like ridiculously fast. <laughs> so broken like how fast is it like how long does it take to get 99 you can get like uh like i'm not sure on the exact rates but it's like over a mil an hour xp that, well at what level though like can you get it in a few hours from one or oh um, no 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 it's uh it's when you they put something in the game which is called safe cracking where you just afk on a safe and you try and like uh break it and that's like stupid xp so as soon as you get like 62 it gets stupid fast but the game as a whole is not about leveling up as much as old school is. It's about actually just playing it. Like that's that's what I've noticed from playing it. Do you find much that, actually having fun? Do you find yeah? What are some of your favorite activities? Oh, the bossing man! Like I've I've like um not done like the high high end stuff, but it's it's really like loads of flavor to it. Like there's lots of weird. You like to use the word stuff. flavor, don't you? That's like uh -huh. yeah, I like some flavor. Oh. A little bit of spice. Yeah, like PVMing's but yeah. definitely one of my favorites too. When I played two years ago, for sure. Dude, with RuneScape, my... with RuneScape Sorry, 3, Ray. do you find there's a lot of like, ro like there used to be role playing worlds. I don't know if there still are, but like, is it more of like a community? <laughs> like people aren't so like busy being efficient. They're just like hanging out oh, dressed they're... up as like fairies and shit. Is that yeah, there's, a, like, there's, there's a world for that, but I think there's a world for that on old school as well. <laughs> so it's like role oh, play she role. makes you me know, laugh, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be sick, though? Because they have role play in, like, Grand Theft Auto, and some of that shit's really big on... Uh... Oh, yeah, I love them streams, man. Them yeah. streams are so what entertaining. If, 
what if old school or RuneScape three had like a built in mic on only that world? Can you imagine? Oh, man. Ah. The bridge set up super top. <laughs> <laughs> you could just get banned off Twitch instantly for turning that off for like two seconds. But another um, thing I'll say is there's just obviously you know how quick RuneScape updates this game, new updates, new updates, new updates, and not playing it for years and years. There's just so many weird little things to do that I didn't know existed, which is kind of fun as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True that. A lot of that. content, like just all over the place. I'll tell you my favorite thing to do in RuneScape 3, all right? I was killing cows, dude, okay? At the pin. I couldn't find the Lumbee pin. That shit's fucked. I don't know where that is anymore. So I was at the Falador pin. I was killing cows, trying this RuneScape 3 game out. And one of them dropped an air staff, all right? Yeah, you said that to me when I come in your stream. Yeah, <laughs> I was what like, the I don't fuck's even up with they that, dropped dude? Air staff, they dropped it. Dude, I don't know where yeah, it's going. Yeah, that actually for sure. Dude, is it like a red drop table or something? You know how quick I logged out after that shit, dude? An air staff <laughs> from a cow? I was out, dude. That don't make sense. <laughs> this ain't the, the game I know, out. by. Uh, <laughs> they drop meat and bones. What is this? What's the cow uh, like? Yeah, I was out. I was out. He fast, man. Fuck that. That sounds weird, man. So what bosses have you done in that uh, in our street right now? I've been doing a lot of elite dungeons. Um, it's kind of like, no, it's nothing like dungeoneering on old school. That's really unique. But uh, it's like mobs, you know, you do you kill some mobs and you got a boss mobs. There's three bosses in total. And then there's like a big one at the end. I'm not like, I don't nearly have good enough gear to kill the last one, but that's been really fun. Um, mm -hmm. I wish they had something like old school, though, where it implements skilling and stuff. Uh, their rates are really good. Focus. They don't have anything like uh, rates on old school. Right, right. Yeah. said your series was bridging the gap from RuneScape three to old school, right? So do you have old school in your RuneScape three videos as well, or no? But I make a lot of comparisons, like what I think of this versus that, or this in that game. You know, you're gonna like, slap as, as World of Warcraft in there too. That'd be pretty cool. Did I play World of Warcraft yesterday, literally just to see? Like, I wanted to experience that rush, but also to get see like there's a comparison in it. Like, oh, it's off the World of Warcraft, bro. So, get some of those aesthetic areas in world of warcraft and make like a little video about it that could be your shit that could be sweet dude. <laughs> i'm just saying man i'm i'm wait okay so sorry but when fortnite came out i think we had hamlins he was from the runescape community now he's got hmm. huge right on well, fortnite. Yeah, he's, massive, no, he's yeah. bigger than runescape itself so i'm thinking world of warcraft comes out who are who's it gonna poach? Okay, it's gotta poach somebody in old school community. You know, we all work really hard. <laughs> Foe, he's been playing it to death, and so is Foe. He's been, Foe's been pretty still live now. We did like twenty four hour stream. I feel like Foe might be the next guy to get poached. Maybe Foe, yeah. I, somebody. I, I think it needs to be somebody who isn't so well established within the RuneScape. Yeah, true. Like I could imagine, in the I couldn't imagine oh, yeah. it being like Foe, Mister Mam, or Boaty, but somebody like who's very passionate about it, such as like Ayiza. Because he used to play a lot of WoW and he's been hyping it up for ages. Like he may be able to take his complete entire audience over to World of Warcraft. But would like, he, he want to blow yeah. up? Though, I don't. I don't know. So say Foe, he doesn't really upload to YouTube anymore. Um, he doesn't really stream stream RuneScape anymore. Actually, like he's obviously a big, decent part of the community. But I'm thinking like at the moment where his stream is now and the hype he has with his audience. He could really blow up in World of Warcraft. He said he played it for seven years when I was in his stream earlier. So yeah, he definitely had a history with the game. I'm just saying, man. We just gotta see who picks. Because who the fuck thought <laughs> someone from the RuneScape community would be, you know, almost a million followers on Twitter, right? Can, mm. It's been two years. Two years. I mean, dude, I've heard comparisons from other categories on Twitch, and apparently, like the RuneScape category is an incredibly generous category like i i've heard of like league of legends streamers that get consistent like a thousand two thousand viewers a stream and they can barely scrape by off that money whereas there's there's people doing runescape full-time which have a hundred viewers every single day that's yeah, a, that's a very big difference i mean uh sorry like league of legends like i don't really see those streamers talk to the chat much you know what i'm saying they yeah, just gotta play the game that's, game that's, that's how it should be it's like very <laughs> important you know? you're just there you you're just the game, game. Right? you know and Dude. then it's like uh, I I can see why it's because the, the you know the streamers there aren't as personal. I mean nothing against yeah. them, right? It's just they're on the game. Just more of a personal game. I mean, there's so many blank areas of content where you can just talk to your chat. You yeah. Know, even yeah. when I'm balls deep in a PK, I could look like mid Brit and just go, "Hey, what's up, Jerry?" Yeah. Up, right? <laughs> <laughs> I I guess it's just like it's quite a grindy, tedious game, right? It's not like 
unless yes. you're doing like Very high personal. end unless you're doing high end pvm or pk and it's like it's not that engaging whereas most other games are like if you're playing like i don't know fucking fortnite or you're playing league of legends like it's and difficult fortnite. to be able to read the chat at the same time as playing community community a lot more a lot more streams because you can just talk because you know yeah. you're just normally doing something chill um you don't watch no 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 offense if someone does but you don't watch old school people for what they're doing really it's for them Unless like, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's good contact. Them, yeah. Unless that's it's like offensive, weeks. that's a compliment. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. 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 I mean, if you could get people to watch for you, that's the biggest thing because you can play any game and it won't exactly. matter. Dude, I just had the craziest thought. Okay. All right, Oak Dice. But on World of Warcraft, transferring gold in between old school <laughs> and new <laughs> school. Oh, my God. Oh. the main. Dude, he's going to be making what, Bitcoin what value there. Oh, <laughs> Someone hit him up, bro. I'll hit him up on Twitter. <laughs> well, like World of Warcraft, like you don't really trade, right? You just kind of yeah. like there's there's a grand exchange kind of. Thing. I have no idea, but I feel like yeah. there's definitely worth in GP or gold in World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah there's no oh, yeah. Like gold farmers and that. Yeah. You could, and I, you could probably imagine you're swapping too right now, right? Especially since it's high. Didn't think of that. Yeah, I don't know. I heard you don't really trade in World of Warcraft. Someone should look up the amount of money it costs. I think to you buy mostly World of Warcraft gear. GP with money right now do you um do you remember trading posts when they were a thing in old school no, yeah I'm like, oh, I'm, they were I, I, they were so shit man i, I know yeah. what you mean yeah it's kind of like that the holiday trade hey like, hey mod ash worked off. very hard i appreciate mm -hmm. you ash those were very well yeah, thought i don't of. think trading is bad in world of warcraft but from what oh I've wait no there were promised. trade posts in old school dude what are you talking about no i'm saying i'm talking about world of warcraft i, feel, I uh, think people just actually do the dungeons and stuff to get the gear and that, well, yeah, like, they don't, they can't really buy it from people. Yeah, they can. The only reason you really use gold in WoW, from my experience, was buying like mounts and stuff. Yeah, and that that's was about bring, it. But yeah, that was basically. You don't buy like gear. You no, don't buy you, gear. you don't buy gear. You could buy gear. Like, okay, could you trade? No, over I don't think so. Right? I don't think you can buy gear. Yeah, a you lot. Do, no, no, no. A lot of the gear you get in World of Warcraft is uh, soul bounded. I believe it's called. Oh. Okay. Where once you get it, you can't trade it. You can't sell it. All you right. can't do anything. Then yeah, like, this stop inflation. Apologies yeah. to our community. I never. Yeah, and I just don't want people <laughs> throwing out like some weird. Yeah, I, weird couldn't, sense, you know? I couldn't afford that fifteen dollars a month back then. Sadly, so I'm trying to make a connection here. <laughs> <laughs> so we played RuneScape. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. Fine, but... <laughs> yeah. Give this man a pass, please. Don't. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, I mean, World, right. World of Warcraft's just like the the pussy version of RuneScape in a sense because like it's just like RuneScape but completely safe. Like even if you get your World of Warcraft account hacked, you can get all of your items back. Like, I mean, it's, honestly, that's it's a not good an thing. issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's no, a good thing. it's, Jagex, it's a good note. thing. It's a good thing, but at the same time, like they don't they don't have anything like the wilderness, for example, where you can just go yeah. and kill someone it's for like their stuff. Like that's what yeah, makes RuneScape yeah, yeah, yeah. unique. Yeah, so, yeah, sure. yeah. That and our shitty servers, dude. <laughs> I mean, like, like, <laughs> see, with great power comes great responsibility. The problem is that Jagex's account security is dog, dog, doo doo. So, <laughs> so, uh, you know, we have this amazing marketing point here, selling point. We can lose our shit, you know, by people killing us or whatever. But to be honest, a lot of us just die because we disconnect or get hacked. Dude, you do, know? You know, do you know what's so, interesting? And it might so be because like... That's not really... The, the, I don't think it's a game feature. That's just terrible. No, yeah, that's, that's, that's just RuneScape. <laughs> but like, dude, I, I never DC in RuneScape, but it might be because I'm in the UK. I don't know. But like, I never DC. Like, I, yeah, can't I think my main point is people hacking you for your shit, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, I'm just making Rake. like a point on top of yeah, that. Yeah. I, I rarely DC as well. When I, when Heard of Hardcore first come out, though, it was insane. DC all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, the server was really weird. Yo, what's so, up? Pretty much this week, I go on to UK Worlds, and it feels 20 times better than American Worlds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's so it's, bullshit. I'm like, is my com I just built this fucking computer. Why does it feel like it's playing you, like I'm Play-Doh? Hey, you guys fucked up, man. You guys shouldn't have ever played RuneScape. You should have played, like, World of Warcraft. It's based in America. <laughs> we should have stayed in our Nintendo homes and shit, you know? Oh, like, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. yeah, but, oh, you know, I guess overall, though, you know, how would you say R3 is, you know, what what are your major pros and cons, like, what of the features that you like and don't like? All right, well, right well before you answer that, do they yeah. have hentai for R3? Probably. <laughs> rule, rule uh, 32, is it? Because I, I ran into this Reddit page where it's like, and I hope I don't make more people, I hope I don't make this popular, but it's like uh, RuneScape Gone Wild. And I was like, what the fuck is that? So I go over and it's just like these dirty, like I think it was um, 
you know the quest where you got to save uh, the ham goblins or whatever down there, and you got to like bring one up and dress them out. And I, I can't oh, yeah, remember. Yeah. They, oh, they, they, yeah. they gave that one tits, and then it was. <laughs> oh, and I'm like, bro. And, and uh, I, I would say they're not representative of the majority <laughs> of their player base. That's for sure. Uh, to be honest, though, I've seen. Uh, that's some. That's just. Neve flirting around as well. So. Yeah, it's just fucking, you know, <laughs> dirty ass boys being. I'm just saying, who does dirty. that to like a goblin though? Like, who's uh, who's drawing that, man? It looked like. I it, don't know, bro. Those, those people, you know, they. <laughs> At least like they 30 hours of work, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 30 hours. They play in the wrong game, but whatever. The background you know. was like the ham caves, dude. Even at a back. It exists. Oh. So I'm just saying that. If RuneScape 3 got that, there's hope. <laughs> I think everything's got that, if you look. Dude, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I feel like we get the understanding that you quite enjoy RuneScape 3, which is fair enough. Well, I yeah, want to some features, though. You know, let's be more specific, it, yeah. though. Okay. Dude. A bit, um, as a, a nice wrap-up point, right? It's been a nice break from old school, like, um, and a different change of pace. Like old school, I don't always enjoy playing. It's more of the challenge, you know. I'm gonna sit there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grind this out, and then I will feel good once it's done. Um, but RuneScape Three is a lot, a lot more relaxed. That's what I've been enjoying. Like, it's not so much of like heavy grinding uh, that I've been enjoying as well. And the quests, like the newer quests, are so good. Like they look so out of place with the old quests there as well, though. And you got like voiceovers and. Like way, it's like it flows different. It's not just like get X amount of items. Um, it just feels completely different. The newer quests, they're quite fun yeah. as well. But yeah, I, okay. I'm definitely gonna keep playing old school. Mm -hmm. But I definitely have a um, I respect them both now. Yeah. Well, okay. One last thing for me. So, we're, how like how how well versed into the game into the other game are you right now? Do you feel like you're like a, a medium knowledge player? Medium, medium. There's yeah. so much to learn. Like especially your high end PVM. Like I haven't even got into like shield switching and all this other stuff. Like there's it just gets like the wormholes deep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's yeah, a lot yeah. to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got a yeah. lot to experience still. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so dude. Something. Yeah, obviously, you're quite like entangled with the RuneScape Free community. Like something I've always been interested in is. Like, how do they feel? How do the majority of people feel about all the microtransactions and stuff like they that? Hate, they don't like it. They don't like it. No one does. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Old school war is free. Like, some of them, some people, like, the best counter argument I've heard, it's not mine, but what some people have said is they don't care. They're on their own journey. Like, people want to pay to up their account. I don't care. It don't affect my gains. I'll do it my way. You know, i play it my way. And like, I like that, that argument to it. But I'm not a fan of cosmetics. When you go in the wilderness, right? It removes everyone's cosmetics. I wish there was a toggle so I could just don't have exactly, to do that shit. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> just Yo, let dark me world. Off. I don't want to see. Uh, I, I was talking to a guy from us all about that, honestly, because I feel like that is a big thing that kind of ruins the immersion of the game, especially for yeah, like yeah, old, yeah. for like you returning players. You got wings. Yeah. You can't fly. Like what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what and like I, yeah, we should we should wings be able to because like I feel like it's fair, right? If I don't want to see it, then I should be able to turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And then if people want to see it, they, they can just have it on and they They have um softened the blow a bit though. Like all yeah. all the cosmetics you can buy on the GE. So what you do, you get a bond, right? You sell it, you get rune coins, and then you can use them coins. So you don't have to use real money now. And all the uh, skilling outfits are obtainable in game now. Like before they wasn't. There was skilling yeah, outfits you could yeah. only get for you. You understand terrible. that's more like they just turned Bonds Who still buy bonds? You, yeah, you, yeah, you could buy, but that's you yeah. use money on that, so it's not like a thing. They just made another currency that makes them IRL currency. Well, like no, yeah, you're yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, but like can you can have membership, game, you know, the can, same on old can school. Buy you the can cosmetic. buy bonds. I mean, that, that's a good twist, you know, but that's still they're just still putting yeah. in a currency. That I'm in no way defending. Yeah, yeah, I don't like yeah. it. Like, it's, that's it's funny though. I'm not. No, they no. You you have made a fair point. They made it a a bit less. They softened it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, but God. yeah, I, I feel like ultimately cosmetics. I mean, any any game will sell cosmetics, but I, I feel like yeah, we should do. probably it's have the, the option to turn it off. Dude, I well, just biggest, my biggest thing is the uh, XP stuff. It's the norm yeah. now, like like yeah. the, with skins or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. Boxes. It's the norm with most mm -hmm. modern games. But old school's pretty lucky that it's. Oh kept... God! What the hell? Are you yeah, doing? sorry. Yeah, no, I, I would say <laughs> I would say the XP <laughs> stuff is probably the biggest offender. Not even the cosmetics, you know. Dude, yeah, yeah. I, I've literally, one. I've just logged into my RuneScape Free account. I haven't logged in in 411 <laughs> days. So only like a year and a bit ago. One sec. Let me see if I can capture this. Uh, oh, be careful. <laughs> this you don't thing. get hacked. I, I want to flex my RuneScape Free account, dude. 
Let's see it. Okay, one oh, oh, you got the fire cape. That's a fire cape. Oh man, uh, that's a kiln he's got, cape. I was, he's got the kiln cape. I was yeah. a beast, dude. I invested a lot of fucking hours into this game, man. This was my, this was my shit. Yo, dude, there. all your boys Yo, fell on. Is that the tree from Harry Potter that fucked Ron up? This is no, lumber. That's the uh, grapple bit. Look, man. Oh, okay. Look, look at my dude. <laughs> <laughs> look how fucking. All right, this is something that I wanna. Oh, how do I show you? All right, I had this aura thing. I don't know how. How do I find like an uh, aura? equipment? Equipment. Oh, uh, yeah, you, legacy. Your right. computer can like barely run this. Yeah, shit, I know it's laggy as fuck, dude. Look at it. I mean, it does. It does look. Bad. It looks like beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but like, dude, look the at fuck these. Is that a dragon? dragon rat. Rat. No, <laughs> dude, look at look at the my fucking stats, man. Like, I used to grind the oh. shit out of this game. It makes me so sad. This account's just yeah. completely gone to waste. Turmoil, everything. Wait, how do I? I mean, um... my account's chilling, dude. On R Street still. <laughs> dude, I just play my Iron Man. That's that's the funnest thing about the R Street for me personally. Talk me through. How do I look at my equipment? Auras. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so I've got one here. This one here. Activate. There we yes. go. Look at that, dude. Um, what? What the <laughs> hell? Why you got wings on that one? What one is it? Dude, uh, the last time I logged into this game, someone came up to me and they're like, "Dude, those those wings are so fucking rare." These wings took me years to level up. I don't even play this account, but I think these are like. I you don't can know. right click the aura for the name, bro. I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. What's it called? Supreme Salvation Aura. There's a guy here. Yeah, so that, yeah, what, yeah. That's like the highest tier. Points. Is that yeah, the highest yeah. tier, mate? I used to for that particular I, aura. I'm telling you, man. I used to smash this game. Like I didn't play RuneScape free, but when it's pre OC, and then obviously they changed all this shit. But so yeah, the way auras work, you buy it with loyalty, and you get loyalty from how long your membership was, and that's a really expensive one. So you have to have been playing a long time to buy that aura. So yeah. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, when yeah, I cancelled the membership on this account, I was genuinely upset. You can turn the wings off, but it like, won't tell you how it's a long process. Yes. Why would I want to turn it's them on off? It's on the appearance thing. It's oh, you secretly likes wings. Look at my, yeah. my, dude, look at my chaotic more. It's got a fucking spec bar, apparently. I oh, know it doesn't. What it's the just fuck? there. But then I got dual rapiers. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> this game makes me feel like everyone who plays it is uh, uses Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, can nice. you swim, dude? Take a swim, bitch. No, you can't swim. You, should be you, you can't to. swim across. You this. can't swim, but you got wings. Fucking shit, you can game, fly, dude. <laughs> oh, oh there you go. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just seeing if I've got any like strange emotes or anything. Alrighty. <laughs> I mean, this is a RuneScape podcast, dude. So I feel like this isn't going off on a tangent, man. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> no so, some people might be interested to see that because it's been on subject, so. Yeah, dude. Look at that. that. I remember I used to love that. Man. Air guitar, dude. But yeah, I remember the last time I logged into this, I just had a bunch of people like complimenting these wings, and oh. they were like, "Jesus Christ!" I got something fun you can do. Right, right click on the world map and go to sky. I boxes. think someone rang your doorbell. Sorry, once. You can change yeah. the sky. Oh, that's cool. dope. Nice. I, I didn't know they integrated the sky. Ooh, oh. the sky buzzer. Right, as video creators, you can see the fun you could have with this. You can yeah, go to an area, so change, pick the scene and everything, and then record like a little cinema. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I like the skyboxes. That's pretty fucking sick, man. Um, yeah, check out the world map. <laughs> see, you know, like, check out the world map. They just map. added, like, Fossil Island, didn't they? But their version yeah. of it. Yeah. It's nothing like Fossil Island. Like, I mean, this, it's not the same. Different. This is very clean, dude. Like, you can click on dungeons and see what's inside of them and stuff like this is stuff that old school could definitely benefit from here's the little tiny really box <laughs> of the wilderness well is there anything in the wilderness that we don't have oh the bounty hunter crater here it is yeah that's still there yeah. ah beauty i like that, that. dungeoneering right there yeah man <laughs> on the top well, yeah on the right top right elite dungeons top right of the wilderness damonheim that's pretty yeah cool. damonheim yep you gotta go on the other side you didn't go on the other side yeah i'm just Lost code. Oh, what is that? Wait, hold up. This place, this looks tiny. Is this all there is? We got more in old school. No, there's a lot more. Than there's that, a big but... piece of land to the top right. Obviously, they don't have Zaya as well. Uh, there's not too much there though. That's their version of Fossil Island. This is oh yeah, that's the Fossil Island. It came out recently. Yeah. Dude, that this one. it's literally you hunt dinosaurs and it's stuff. Huge, though. Like, you wouldn't see that in old school. <laughs> it's literally this and then that. That's it. We've yeah. actually got more in old school. How do I even exit? This well, map? I mean, more land masses, but like they have a lot more like. Oh shit! It's daytime now. Yeah, you, oh, change, the sky you, box, you yeah. can change it. Yeah. Right. Hold up. I wanna go. I wanna go to the bank. Can I go to a bank over here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, you See that everything. grapple, right? You know that grapple shortcut, right? Obviously, yeah. it's outdated because there's a bridge. 
but you get achievements and they all have really wacky names. That one made me laugh because when you do it, the achievement is called um, a bridge not far. <laughs> <laughs> just mean that uh, it's, so far. <laughs> it's so outdated because it's part of like the diaries and stuff is still yeah, there. They kept it there. It. Oh yeah. man, what in the fuck? Dude, if I've got anything rare in there, let me know. But I don't think I do. I think every Santa hats. Nah. You've already sold that shit. Yeah, <laughs> my, this, dude, this bank is. I got an abyssal whip, pet cat, fire cape. You got a kiln cape on your back. That's better than fire cape. Yeah. Is it still the best? I remember getting this shit for free from the um. The, the cape you have is best in slot on your back. Yeah. Oh, these are infinity boots. Advanced pulse core. See, I I have logged in because I got rune item tokens and these protein bar things. This is yeah, probably we logged in at a quick spin. <laughs> a crown of loyalty. Oh, can we do a spin? Years. Do a spin. Do a spin. Yeah, man, dude, these you mint. Could. I met. I've had this mint cake on this account. Oh, <gasps> hold up. Have I got a this? Race is going right. down the hold, hold, dude, alley this, right now. Yeah, this. Do you see this hat right here? Okay. When I, I first when I first started playing RuneScape, I don't know if it's even going to change. There you go, the boater, the blue boater. When I first started playing RuneScape, like <laughs> back years ago, the first person I made you friends with, it. dude, the first person I made friends with was called Retep. Free one two. He's at the top of my friends list. Let me have a look. There it is. Retep one three one one. Okay. That was my first RuneScape friend. I met him in uh, Varok Morty. Damn, was in you still got him on your friends list. Yeah, this. Or did you add him just to see if he appeared? No, I've never deleted him. He was like my oh, first, cool. my first RuneScape friend. And um, I remember it was my birthday. We met in Barak <laughs> Morty, and he was in ghostly robes. And I was like, "You're badass, man!" And obviously, I just had entangles. I was like a noob. Became friends, and then my birthday came up, and he's like, "Hey, man, what do you want?" And I was just like, "Well, my favorite color is blue, which it's <laughs> it's now changed to green." But hey, and uh, he gave me this, it's and I've kept, I've never, history. dude, literally, like if my account got hacked. I wouldn't even care if they took like a blue party hat, but if they like took this hat, man, it would actually send a mental value in it. Yeah. yeah, dude, like this hat right here. What that the has fuck been on my account those? since the beginning. <laughs> They're guards. They're the guards, what the bro. Fuck, They're patrolling yeah, the they streets. They graphically bro. reworked uh, the place. The <laughs> yeah, the Alcari <laughs> guards, bro. Come on. They just wander around. Scary. Yeah, they're patrolling, dude. They're patrolling. Yo, when the, the squad steps up. <laughs> yeah, dude. They're the homies. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, imagine dude, if they killed me for my boater, man. I'd be so sad. <laughs> no, some places look it. so different now as well and then some oh, places yeah, haven't changed and they do not fit in <laughs> like, there's, there's a lot of inconsistencies if you go to Sears right Sears looks exactly the same and then you walk to Catherby completely different yeah. uh, I wish the, one They're of my favourite places it. is Port Serin so if you are uh, like yeah that's all outdated and then um, then you go the other way but Port Serin looks amazing like, it's one of my favourite graphically yeah, it is a pretty game Oh, oh Seren's beautiful. Man. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, wow. And I made a little cinematic because I have to show this. Like, for people were curious. Yeah, dude. The, the ships look dope. I go outside, dude, when you have graphics like this shit. Like, this, yeah, this dude's going to Bandos down here, man. This is Trollheim. Oh, uh, yeah. look like shit. I mean, I'm not going to yes. lie. Like, gra graphically, this game is fantastic. Like, uh, you know, it, it does look beautiful, but... I don't know, man. I don't think you I should. Yeah. Yeah. Port Serim, man. Nah, you just you, you just gotta wait for the hype, bro. Trust me. Just gotta Port wait for Serim's the hype. Port Serim's like so beautiful. Like, ah, oh, man. I'm definitely excited to try this game out again in the future. <clears throat> yeah, I did. Um, before I even played, I did uh, watch your Iron Man series. Like, yeah, dude, this shit's old. Three plus. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't played play since, but yeah, it was great. <laughs> it was it was really fun. Ooh. Like I didn't even really get like really really good at the PVM side. I like a big I ass boat. But... Oh, you guys got <laughs> sailing? <laughs> no. Oh no, you got player on ports. Yeah. There's memes on it still though. Yeah. Like if you make a preset, one of the options is sailing. Like you have a sailing preset. Yeah, this is a uh, port serum. I it's would like to see games. um, I would like to see presets in old school, but limited to just gear like combat yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, but no it's okay. Uses. I don't care. I, don't, I really, I personally don't care anymore. Yeah, it's it's like I'd rather yeah. just don't do much, but. Yeah. Should we move on to the Q, uh, the update stuff? Yeah, we're kind of yeah, late man. on the other route. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rake's seeing his tangents. <laughs> RuneScape's gonna wake up. Rake's gonna no, wake up tomorrow. Like, like for, for extra Rake's tangents. <laughs> like right, in the video, please. Thank you very much. Oh! Okay, oh! one second. Are you popping it up, bro? Yeah, dude. Oh, oh, it's my it. back. My back's <laughs> killing me, boys. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, let me find it one sec. <laughs> there it is. There we go. Perfect. All right, we're gonna have to zoom in this a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't right, hold it. You're on the wrong it. one. Uh, yeah. It's all good, Rake. See, I'm not gonna rush you. Yeah, give me this a sec. Yeah, I've not done this in a while, man, so give me a second. Oh, right. I think I deleted the whole thing. Okay, one sec. <laughs> well, while it's you're fine. doing that, so it's called Small Game Updates and Betas. So a lot of improvements coming into the game that we're just going to go over, including like Fishing Trawler, Clue Rewards, uh, the, le the Lectern, where you make like house tabs, I think. I don't know if that's how you say that. Yep, Lecterns. Lectern? Okay. I don't want people roasting me on pronoun. They don't roast Rakesy when he says shit wrong, but me, it'll turn into like a two month. It's meme, because I don't know. say stuff wrong, man. That's oh, why. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, yo. Yo, Rakesy, you can diagonally drag it so that way it like keeps the uh, the proportions. Okay. Well, I, I feel like that's readable. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> can, wait, can that's you guys, yeah, can you guys not read that? It looks fine to me, man. Oh. Or otherwise we've got like a tiny ass little box. Oh, no, you can diagonal drag. Like, yeah, like that. Just, just do it a little no, more. No, well, I, 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 can, I can leave it like that if you want. That's fine. If you guys can read okay. that. Better. All right. So, so what is this? Interface. So they're, they're kind of changing the interface you get when you make a house tab or, uh, are they adding more actually? I don't know what Frankenstein's castle tabs, wilderness ceremony. Oh, are these you, new wait, Rakesy, old, you're not, old, you gotta not. scroll down. Wait, wait, is this even the right he's one? He's on the uh, kill death I'm ratio. I'm on the kill death ratio one. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, we, can one. we can start, let's start there on the small game right. update. Yeah, this fine. one, this one. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I made yeah. it, I made that one, and, and yeah, it's really nice though. Uh, basically combines the demon and the eagle lectern together, so you don't have to have two separate rooms, because that's what I had to do. Was so there's not... There's no new tabs in it. It's just a new interface. Yeah, it's just they added everything into it. Okay. Right? Yeah, it's slightly different right. from the original, yeah. They also reworked the clue reward casket graphic change, so... Yeah, you get those Does little that look squares. Different? Yeah, yes, the little colors in the middle. I like, oh, oh. like, the, like the big on the clue scroll now. I, I like yeah, that the medium true. one's green, because obviously everyone just wants green from our medium. Yeah, <laughs> <That's all> they <laughs> yeah, they must have known when they added that. That is true. Uh, fishing trawler got a rework. The following changes have been made to improve your experience. Leaky holes in the trawler will now allow more people to attempt to patch them simultaneously. So they're just taking away some of the dead clicks. Uh, the timer has been corrected. Okay. And the activity bar will now no longer decrease when there's no activity left to do. So, yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, S-O-T-E chant. What's this? fuck is that is that the new thing is that like yeah it's not the else the one you didn't do oh yeah uh -huh. <laughs> take it away rice i don't fucking i don't know dude uh, they just let you replay the fight because there's a few fights they let you replay it if you want oh okay so you can like practice for your hardcore or something sure yeah probably one of the best uses uh you can replay cutscenes now too in case you want to see those really well done cutscenes in old school <laughs> runescape Okay, uh, Nightmare Zone Editions. You got the purple buffed fucking elf dude. That's cool. Or vampire. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's just it's just elf. <laughs> okay. It's one of the quest bosses. The Elven Trader Nightmare Zone. Ardun Ardun Night Armor. Yeah. That elf is. Oh, oh you can. <laughs> that's the quest wipe. Yeah, you can store it now. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is this is a lot less interesting when you read. Yeah, it, it's isn't not it? much. There I is, thought this was there gonna be really much. cool. The biggest one's the line of sight. That one's the biggest yeah, one. I'll see his video on that. Everything else like... is a pretty meh. The line <laughs> of sight video. one's a big one. Oh, right, there's some last man standing that. stuff as well. That's awesome. Looking okay, for it. the last 15 years, the way the algorithm calculated line of sight was not symmetrical, meaning that a player might not be able to range mage or target without their target having a line of sight to range mage back. So is it talking about pathing then? Is that line of sight? You know like how people can hit you behind a tree, but you can't? Yeah. Oh, that's there's, um, there's a really good video on it by Wooks. Yeah, yeah. Wooks we... made a tutorial for the channels. Like, yeah, basically oh, Wooks kind of just told Jagex what to do because Jagex couldn't yeah. figure it out themselves. Thank God, dude. Oh my God. There's a way you can get around a so tree. They made, so, they, so they made it so that that doesn't happen anymore in PvP. And uh, and and in PVM, it's the same as it is. Well, it's not in the game yet. It's just it's in the beta. Yeah, it will be. It will be in the game at some point. Yeah, that definitely needs fixing. It's a very yeah. Fuck. Basically, Wooks already has it 
practically figured out. So they're yeah. they're making oh. it so that the the PVP stuff, you know, will get the change. So that what they need to do, man, they need to hire Wooks with like a 200k bonus <laughs> signing, right? And then all the comments all his, say that, like on the for video. real, just buy all his shit, you know, buy him a house. This is gonna be yeah, a great just investment. Buy him a Bugatti, and he's good. And not only that, think not. about this, okay? Think about an article that says. Old school RuneScape hires huge fan, pays for everything. You know, how much awesome buzz would that be for the community? Fuck World of Warcraft, dude. We'd be number one again. All right. We get oh, Wooks yeah. in this bitch. We'll Wooks, be it. Wooks, well, man. see, that's the thing. We have Wooks while well, they don't have any, they don't have anybody like that. I don't think. Exactly. <laughs> no one does. <laughs> Just Wooks, if they did, they probably man. treat them better. Uh, Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. LMS beta changes. So uh, -huh. uh they changed some gears. They removed the occult necklace, which was I guess okay, whatever. Uh has now been placed in offensive loot tap or crates because I have looted an occult necklace. Um starting position of the black DI to Mystic has been swapped, and the number of Morgan javelins has been increased from ten to a thousand. Holy shit. So <laughs> Okay, all right, that's fine, I guess. Uh, capped food and inventory players will no longer have, be able to hold more than 11 sharks. So you can kill these, I don't know, they're like dogs in LMS, and yeah. they drop food. And I tried to pick up a shark, and it wouldn't let me. So it's capped. They don't want you overeating and infinite run energy. So no more stamina's. They're just going to allow you to run as long as you want. They're cool. Not the changes I wanted, yeah, but the that. changes that needed to happen, I guess. Yeah, they all sound like reasonable changes. Uh uh, hopefully at some point in the future they're going to address the rewards again personally i don't understand the occult swap was it too hard for people or because mm. it wasn't I strong I, I mean mage mm. still blows yeah the occult was just basically too damage i think it know. might be a little bit too advanced for most people like for people just starting off like an amulet although it is relatively powerful it's not like something you need right Whereas yeah, you yeah, definitely yeah. need to get into your ranged tank gear when you're a hybrid. Yeah, the occult basically just gives you two damage. Yeah. It's imagine. like the mage book swap. You're going to take more damage than you, you if you're not good enough for it. So it doesn't feel like it should be a weapon on its own. Because, I mean, the occult doesn't have any defense bonus, right? Yeah, so. it's just damage. You just get the offense. Exactly. So if you don't do your amulet switch right, you're actually going to be taking more damage than giving out. So I, I don't know why they took it away, but whatever. Uh, right. There are literally so many other news. You, you yeah, got those ones are not important, to be honest. Some we, they, stuff. Yeah, yeah. We should move on to the next one. Okay. Is there is there literally nothing here of importance? Dude, right? That's what I'm saying. What the I fuck? mean, they're typically not important. Maybe one out of ten times yeah. it might be. Something. I mean, it's important, but it's not interesting. You know, the line of yeah, sight beta is the best. Yeah, yeah that's, the most important one. that's the most important one. Yeah, it's like, it's like typos and they're talking about yeah, yeah like little, sure. little things okay that's fine kill death ratio and web slashing i'm gonna say sharing these aren't very important either but what are you doing about? <laughs> uh pvp world and bounty hunter worlds now have their own kd ratios okay cool. all right so if you go to a bounty hunter then it will keep that in line that's fine uh and then web slashing so every time i go out in the wild people are like if your weapon has slash you could slash a web and that shit got me caught like 40 times deep holding no knife. They don't go in the wild. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Well, finally, they updated to where if your weapon does have a slash, you can cut through webs. Personally, I think if it's a two-handed weapon, one-handed weapon, a weapon in general, a mage bow, slap the web open. Who gives a shit? But new update there. And then the Song of Elves, if you want to read that. This one's big because they actually... Uh, quadrupled how long a charge will last on the Saldor blade. So it's actually really, really worth it now, especially just for anybody, mains or iron. If you can't afford a scythe, getting this blade is actually really, really worth it now because the charges are worth getting because they Did last the price go times. up when this update came out? Uh, I don't know, but now it's actually usable Like because before it wasn't worth using because the charges didn't last long enough for the amount of time that you spent. Dude, we spoke about that when they were talking about polling it. That's cool. That's interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it, um, is it slash yeah, it's that it's good? Is it a slash? Yeah, it's, best in, it's second best in slot slash, and it could be best in slot slash if they ever introduce a one by one monster or boss that's actually weak to slash. They don't have that right now. Right. Because everything that slash, like good for, it's big. It's ginormous. So that's why the site is better. Is it chunky and funky? I mean, they're all big. Be? They're just all big bosses. So, 
But yeah, it's awesome. a, so the Souther Blade second best of Scythe. So if you don't have a Scythe, you know, this is a really good weapon to have. But, but the thing is, like, the Scythe, in my opinion, from what I know, is it's best in slot for killing Cerberus. And, and for also and killing... That's big. <laughs> it, it's best that's in slot for killing... What's, what's that uh, big Hellhounds, uh, Dark Beast boss in Raids 2, what's it called? So, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 so to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all best in slot for <laughs> pretty much everything in uh, yeah. Theodore Blood. <laughs> but, like, the thing that... The thing this blade makes me think is if it's not as good as that and it shouldn't be because obviously like it's super rare from TOB, then what's better than this and i say it's questionable and reasonable to say that the twisted bow would basically stomp this weapon at cerberus and also at that boss in TOB. so is there really any use for this weapon or is it just like yeah yeah it's yeah it's good at TOB. it's really long would you say it's better than the twisted bow yeah like, I mean, it depends on the boss. Yeah, like you're not gonna twist the bow, Verzik. That's for sure. Yeah, it depends on the like defense of whoever. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like the twist the bow doesn't just all of a sudden, you know, like beat this blade. Right. See, this weapon's only like thirty mil or something, dude. So. Ah, okay. It's really I, fucking nah, cheap. Nah, I think it's a hundred mil. Right yeah, now, I thought but, it was a hundred as uh, well, which yeah, is a significant like this, amount. But the thing is, in in theater of blood, the twist the bow is not like best in slot. Every in in most of theater of blood, it's melee weapons that are best in slot. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It'll be the I can't second best. I it's still 100 mil. I thought it would have gone. It'll be the second now. best in slot. Well, it's rare. That's why. And it. And mm. if you want to do the corporate know, one, it's rare or it's not hard. rare. People rare, hunting yeah. out that content. I mean. Yeah. Not many people common. do it nowadays, though. No. It's not even worth a lot of money. We've liked the price as well, like a scythe and a twist. Yeah, it's just the limited. Yeah, like I said, crystal, it's just. Like, it's nice to have a step down anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. With it's with it's for people that don't have a scythe. If you don't have a scythe, then you get this blade, pretty much. Okay. Right, and really then this is just the line of again. Yeah, yeah they we, just we, we congratulate the find it. State boys. Yeah, yeah let's do it. 90, and Aaron Bor Barrow. Aaron Barrow. Some great, great names there, guys. Con congrats. Really top notch <laughs> names. Um, you both won one chill blast. Wait, they want a PC? What the flying fuck are you talking about? They want a. What do you mean? They want a computer too? I don't know what a chill oh. blast FC is. What is that? Sponsor. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it says PC, yeah. not FC. I had my bloody mouse yeah. hovering over it. I was sponsor. Sounds like a <laughs> chair. Yeah, like, I haven't really got a chair. Nice. To be fair, the last computer I saw them give away was to Wooks, and it didn't look the best. I don't know if you hey, guys hey. saw it. But, well, like, no, the components inside no, were just, it was like... better than what you had. <laughs> it could run RuneScape. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, the the coolest thing about it was it had, like, a Vorkav case. Like, it looked cool, but inside, like, the motherboard was, like, a 10-pound <laughs> one. <laughs> like, it, it, was... comes, it comes with, like, a monitor that has the back end to it, like the old school days and yeah. shit. <laughs> I, think it was, I think it was pretty decent, though. It wasn't, like, really cheap or anything. And, okay. guys, they also get one month of membership each. Well, uh, month. well, why this, a month, dude? Oh, dude. It, may, may, it, 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 it probably well, should have been yeah. a year, but I mean, they did get themselves a free chair and PC. Like, you can't complain about that. They just, yeah, no, but it, it doesn't look good in comparison, really. Like, they're just sitting at the table, dude. And a bunch of J mods are like, "All right, uh, so yeah, we give them just... a computer, a chair, maybe we should throw in a hat." And one's like, "No, dude, let's give them a bond." And they're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, one um, bond, two bonds, two bonds. Two bonds. Oh shit! It was like, <laughs> nah, let's make it two. All right. Right. Look, you know, it's just <laughs> dressing on the salad, dog. It's just dressing on the salad. In yeah. other news, Roomfest tickets are still on sale. Who here in the podcast is going this year? Not hey. this year. You? Ah, oh, it's gonna a, be me and I you again. Go 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 by the way. Oh, <laughs> things have changed from last year. Good shit, bro. Oh, oh wait, yeah, yeah. are you? Are he's, you? He's big. Our street. Two gnomes. Oh, that's awesome, man. What up? Get it, bro. Yeah, so good lots changed. Yeah. Like last year, right? I was like a nobody. It's a like household 2, name. Eight hundred <laughs> subs last year. I think I like two, three people recognize me. But um, I remember sitting there thinking, like, you know, one year I'm gonna be up there, and then this year yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. up there. Like, not the way I thought either. <laughs> <laughs> Different category, yeah. but you know, <laughs> it's all right. You know, that's, that's, that's awesome. awesome. It's crazy. Yeah, dude. Are you going Rexy as well, yeah? Oh hell yeah! Of course I'm going, man. You guys yeah, live me a crutch there, this time, right? You'll Wait, be all right. Uh, wait, are you staying? Are, have they like provided um, accommodation? No, just free ticket. Just oh, okay. free ticket. Yeah. He's over here like, bro. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we're not important enough, you know. Different, different community management. But um, it's some. It's a start. Last year, like I heard, no one got free ticket in the RS3 section. So old school has a really good community. But they've been doing a lot this year to kind of make it a bit better. A lot of people I know got free tickets this year in the content creation for RS3. 
That's, that's awesome. good. By the way, yeah, boys, good. boys watching the podcast and maybe Whammon as well. If any of you are going to Roomfest this year, let us know you down in the comments. Or like the video. <laughs> I, I swear there's only like... Subscribe. There's only a couple thousand people that go. Is it like 2,000 or is it a bit more than that? I'm not sure. Because they are limited on tickets, aren't they? Like there's only so many that I, get sold. I doubt it though. If you think about like the, uh, the one two years ago, the, the venue was like so small compared to this one now. I'm a shoot. Like, there's probably so many more tickets because there's so much more space. So they have like so much space at this one. Yeah, yeah. dude. I kind of, yeah. I kind of, I kind of preferred the first Room Fest, the one in London, because it was in London. It was nice yeah. to actually be able to go and do sign afterwards yeah. without having shot in an hour later. That's like the the worst part. Yeah, and like the pre party was just some place like down on the uh, the Thames. And like it was really cool there. Did you go to the pre party last year? No, I only went for the one day that time, uh, the year before. Ah, okay, yeah. It the... was separate. You could pay just the one day or both, but now it's all in one. Dude, the pre party was it was awesome. The only so thing it had like bumper carts and stuff. Yeah, Things, like, like it was just it was it was like a massive arcade which was completely free. Like it was really really good. But it was so hot in there, man. I was sweating my fucking tits off. It was unbelievable. You got some big tits, dude. Oh, right. I, dude, I did at the time, man. I'll tell you that. I fucking did, dude. I went up to Chris Archie at one point when I was in there. And he just looked at my forehead and he was like, he's like, God, you're hot, aren't you? And I was like, yeah, I'm fucking dying. I was like, I'm fucking dying right now, Chris. I was like, I am sweating everywhere. <laughs> and that's how a beautiful romance bloomed. That's, that's oh, amazing. Crap. Yo, man. All right. Room Fest may be hype, but the pearl fishing rods and the fish sacks can now be stored in your magic wardrobe. So I'm just saying, fuck Room Fest. That's what's Gosh, up. Yeah, we're pushing the updates forward, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the best. All right. We have one last one. The, this one's big. This one's actually the big one. Next the big The helmet. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I don't think you guys have looked at it, so you're going to be blown away by this shit. All right. Oh, yeah, Rakes, do you need the link? Put or... on the next page. Yeah, yeah. Show me. Show me. Okay. So it's called the Fremenic Exiles. Uh, All right. Anyways. So it's this is like a jaw attachment, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But this quest idea was pitched a long time ago, but it got delayed because there was some Twitter drama with like the mod that was working oh, with it and like the, you know, the people that were bitching. So like it was delayed because he wasn't feeling motivated. But well, he's a bunch of Korean that. avatars just being korean but yeah anyways they're pitching this quest it's a master quest and uh it's being pulled right now it has, it's not out yet probably things are still in, in the in the works but this helmet it's uh you know using the nates it's not you can combine with a new item from one of the new monsters that they're proposing basilic basilic, basilic knights knights or whatever but look at the stats it's actually ridiculous Plus six strength yeah it's actually yeah, i saw that i was like what <laughs> Well, yeah, well, so dude, I have. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, this helmet would actually overpower the te uh, the serpentine, uh, the uh, the serp helm, by one strength, and not only that, it's it doesn't seem to have any cost. My, you know, minus the upgrade thing that you buy it with it, it has no negative stats. You, you know, lose the, uh, the attachment well. if you die in PvP with it, though, right? I, yeah, I don't know. You, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's like the person, the attachment, yeah. But right. it sounds like can you PK it and get it back, get it from it? Right. So I, I I've read it, and effectively, if you smite somebody for this helm, you get the uh, basilisk jewel, which I believe yeah, exactly. is the, the piece, so you and you also it. get the Noid, the Noid helm. Yeah. I have yeah. no. I don't really have too much of a problem with this helm, so long as that basilisk jewel is extremely rare. Like, you know, if it is really yeah. rare, because like, I'm talking realistically like one in a couple thousand because otherwise the Serpentine Helm is just like, yes. what's the yeah, point? Yeah, it's going to be dead content again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it's competitive, yeah. Literally, the Serp Helm died because they uh, nerfed his strength this, to the same as Nate's is not. But because this helmet is clearly going to be better because it's six strength versus five, uh, five strength. Not only that, it also has these like beautiful stats of prayer, crazy prayer, no negative stats, doesn't degrade. So yeah, this thing will basically, if if it's not rare enough, it will make Serp Helm obsolete. Like people won't use it anymore again. I'm just thinking, okay. man, like LMS, remember? And uh, one of the JMOs was like, you know what we need? Boon, Berserk, Shield. And then another <laughs> JMO was like, hold my beer. I'm going to add this motherfucker in the game. <laughs> Nezzy, face guard. <laughs> 
Do you know, that's really interesting that you've brought that up, actually. Because when you think about it, like, they're trying to introduce this fucking best in slot almost helmet right here from it the quest, right? It is best right? in slot. It will be best And then, uh, it, yeah. dude, there are two very different people working on our game updates. For them to, like, suggest this, and then in a poll a few days ago, suggest the Rune Berserker shield as a fucking reward, like, that, that's a massive contrast, dude. That's, yeah, that's a teams, very sure. big I mean, jump. They're not, they're not the same people. The PvP yeah, pretty, people... Yeah, someone, like, puts one idea together and someone else completely separate puts another idea together. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, they, they really dude, teams. I will say this right now, which will, like, imprint this into you, right? Can you imagine wearing this helmet with your Rune Berserker shield? In, in, <laughs> any, in, every, in any scenario, ever. No, you can look just a wouldn't. little cute, a little bit. I yeah. mean, they just don't. You just wouldn't, because you, if you're wearing this helmet, you're gonna be wearing a Fernic Defender. Yeah, like, most likely. Or I do think they've done well having it that helmet, though. You know, because yeah, I mean, like, the looks is an fine. iconic old school yeah, helmet. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, just I'm Gucci on, with I like the how looks. they've kept that. Yeah, yeah. The looks are fine. The stats the though are iconic. like. Yeah, dude. The stats are crazy though. It's very controversial stats. Like, I'm, I'm definitely gonna hear a lot on Reddit. With a high level community bitching about this, they'll be like, oh, good, bye bye, my surf helm, bye bye, all the <laughs> magma mutagens and then, you know, tens of night mutagens. I'm sorry. We're turning this shit into scales again Yo, or whatever. But that 5k runecrafted XP, though, let's just slap this in the game, shall we? Oh, yeah. uh, yeah. wait, I saw Anyways. people complaining about that earlier. Like, what, why what? are people complaining about this? Dude, they're, they're memeing, bro. Forget about this. Okay. <laughs> okay. I want yeah, runecrafting like, as hard as possible. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no trade in like in here. I just, it, realistically, I they could just make this helmet um, instead of five uh, five strength, just four strength. To be honest, well, what's it right way, now? Is it is it three strength? No, it's five. It's five, bro. So or you're so six. you're saying you lose you lose DPS? Is it five but you or six? Defense. I can't see the number. It's six. Uh, six. Six on this. Okay. One. Yeah, sword pound was five strength, right? This helmet is six strength. What, what's so the noise? Three. Okay. Okay. What if they yeah. just made it like the bottom attached Three part or four, yeah. is like a boss drop on the new quest boss, and like you could put it on any helmet. Oh, that'd be that'd be, be a lot, lot of, of design. That, yeah, that'd be a lot of balancing, dude. That's that's a little too much. I would I'll be okay if this was five strength to tie in with the uh, that helmet because what happens is the the uh, serp helm still has the ability of poison, right? So it's still worth that's using his a advantage. Lot of yeah. So instead, but but at the same time, level, yeah. Exactly, nah, but at the same time, the Nate is also this, five Rice. strength. Think about this, Ricey Poo. Okay, bottom part, only two, or maybe even just one or two strength bonus, right? Think of that. But if you die with <laughs> it, you lose the bottom part anyways. So if you go in the wild and you slap it onto like a coif, plus two strength bonus, you slap uh, it on the helm, plus five. Bro. <laughs> you know? Honestly, that's just too complicated. Dude, you slap it on an ancestral hat, you know, this, you got a little is, bottom part. Put it on the sop helm, right? Dude, uh, dude. If, they, if they actually... Put on the sop helm, seven eight strength bonus. if they actually implemented that, man, like, imagine, like, Justicker helm. The Justicker helm could be good again. But, like, I cut... I'll be honest, that would never come into the game, but imagine, like, yeah. Max deep peak airs of ancestral hats. If they put that on the ancestral hat, it would basically be best in slot major and a noix helm at the same time. Like yikes. It's That's just cool. a yikes. Imagine like the black cab and like the little eye patch and the little bottom part there. You know? Yeah. That'd be sweet. How about we put in a mince face, dude? You can cosplay with I'm it. liking that. Dude, there we go. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if it's gonna pass with these stats to be honest. It's a bit too high. This I it's doubt generous. Do you guys want me to read? You said, yeah, put it on par, but then obviously the venom yeah. is the advantage of the other. Exactly. Helmet. And then if you don't need a venom, then you use this helmet, right? So it's, it's like, frustrating when something new comes out, something else is like you know, now dead content. It's just yeah, no. Find that's a way to get in the middle, and I like. When they nerfed the surf pump uh, uh, after the first nerf. It straight up died. Like nobody used it. Like. Very rarely would you ever see someone use it. Oh yeah, because you now can, it's back. Can you, you, know? can, you can you can only inflict venom with? Is it just melee, or you have to individually well, attack? The them? biggest. It wasn't even that. The biggest thing is the straight bonus because they it was originally five and they nerfed it to three. Hmm. So the, when they did that, the nate just not completely took over. Dude, so, I look, I remember when yeah. the cert pound was like three hundred k and raggers used to pk with them. When yeah, they first yeah, came it was out. useless. Oh Those no no times. oh yeah no but that's different that's when people camp the fuck out of Zora, like those were the crazy. days man getting rags and also they made it be back then you couldn't turn into scales so it was just a constant supply of surf yeah. 
and it wasn't getting deleted in the game. So now that okay. you can delete them, so you know. All right, guys, we're missing out on the most important thing about this quest, dude. All right, the yes. lore. You want me to read that oh, shit yeah. out? Yeah, you you can do the it. The lore of the it. exiled Fremenic and his weird bottom jaw. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> the Fremenic bard often sings tales of the past, of great battles, deadly foes, and heroes long gone. However, in recent years, things have been much quieter in the Fremenic providence, with the bards having few things to think about. All that is about to change, though. This summer, 29... <laughs> as... <laughs> Sorry. As what starts off as a simple investigation soon leads... To one of the greatest threats the Fremenic have ever seen. Okay. Uh, wait, do I read where the wolf is right there? Is that, or is that just some lore about the wolf? I don't. Yeah, read it. I, I okay. think that's where you go. All right. <laughs> the Fremenic have been a beloved group of people within the old school universe. I like the, the Marvel awesome universe. universe. Okay. <laughs> so I wasn't watching Marvel some new movies, cinematic. dude. <laughs> Got a new Ryo. No. Right. The RuneScape cinematic universe. Fuck me. The RuneScape quest universe. Since their original release on November 2nd, 2004, many of the Fremenic quests have been iconic old school elements to the game, such as Fremenic helmets, god books, Kingdom management, lunar spells, and the helm of Netson. Um, uh, Netson, no, no. <laughs> don't worry about that. The Fremenic lore weaves part of Nordic mythology uh, and our own old school lore into what I personally found to be my favorite quest series, which led to naming my own tube account. What the fuck is this, dude? Is oh, this it's like Mod a... Wolf. It's from Mod Wolf. God damn. Damn it, yeah. Wolf. All right. After That's one not of the... a lore, bro. That's just more of a commentary. <laughs> Fucking Wolf over like, here. Fuck it. I'm, I'm finishing this shit. Ragnarok <laughs> crossover with RuneScape. After <laughs> one of the 272 <laughs> randomly assigned names given upon a completing or the completion of the Fremenic Trials, most recently your adventurer has stopped the uh, bickering rivalry between the islands of Nezi and Josh. Fuck me. And most importantly, and, began wow. diplomatic negotiations of the tense feud between the Moon Clan and Relica. These diplomatic relations will assist in Fremenic exiles, where you'll be discovering more interlinking history between the clans. Okay. Yeah. This summer. It's yeah, well, the ultimate like, storyline to Blood Runs Deep. That quest. Okay. That's what I was then. just about to ask. If yeah, you did what it the ball mine, yeah. Of course. How brother. different it is. Yeah, I was just about to ask yeah, that. That was cool. Ball, the ball mine. Yeah. yeah cool. I haven't done that. You're like. Well, let's hope this quest comes in the game, it. whether the helmet passes or not. Yeah. yeah they did, does, honestly, the only thing they've done is change the prayer bonus from five to three. So it's the same as Nate's is not. Because personally, it seems like a fun quest. I just hope they don't put no more shit puzzles. I mean, great puzzles. So yeah, it's a master. Hey, hey, it's amazing. a master quest. All so mirrors. Shit. It won't be as bad as the. I LC. hope the whole quest is just one puzzle, and it's just like a fucking ten mile room. And hmm. in it, you bar like Tony Hawk. Game. It's gonna be great. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, man. Hopefully, finish it this again. time, man. Nah, I don't want to. <laughs> right here, boys. I say, I say we wrap it up. We've covered all yeah, of the everything. game updates, I believe. Yo, Dark yep, World, right. thank you very much for coming on, mate. Uh, where That's can the people fun, find man. you, man? What are your socials? Dark World Order on everything. Got it locked Please down. Please promote yourself. So yeah, YouTube. Your plans. Dark World Order, one word. Yep. Dark World Order, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. We'll have those in there. Oh yeah, and we got a shout out, Jordan ninety and Aaron Barrow. Congrats on your sweet chill PCs. Oh yo, Any mom's uh, membership. Oh yeah, yo, it's also membership, dude. Yo, it was Rexy's <laughs> birthday a few days ago, right? Oh, yeah. It was, yeah, yeah dude, yeah, it to, was. Yo, let the boy know. Give him. He's turning thirty-two, <laughs> 32 boys. Thirty-two. Thirty-two, you man. Know, thirty-two, yo. Wait, no, not thirty-two. What? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm twenty. Yeah, I'm, I'm twenty-six, man. I know I'm an old boy now. Twenty-six, twenty-six. And going down. Twenty-five next year. <laughs> God, dude, I'm getting old. I just turned twenty-seven, so I'm like. No, nah, your dad though. Yeah, your yeah. dad though, man. Bunch of dinosaurs in this Discord call, dude. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the video for sympathy, for old day sympathy. Please, please do. Uh-huh.